Take it away. All right, guys. So we are on to our next episode. Welcome to We Watch Whedon. Firefly. Firefly. This episode is called Trash. Trash. And I'm assuming that it's a reference to a lot of things, but I do think it is uh, referencing one human particular. And uh, it's another uh, it's another cameo from someone we've met before. Ooh. So think of all the shitty people we've met throughout this series that have crossed paths with Mal and the crew. Okay. And it's one of those people. All right. All right. It's one of those. We've narrowed it down. Yes. I would say this Ish. is more of a bottle episode. So not much to further the story overall. More of a self-contained episode. But uh, I quite enjoy it. I think it's a lot of fun. All right, well, I'm anxious to see what happens next. Yeah, let's see uh, who else in the verse we get to return to. Hi. That went well. Stash. Okay, so I thought I'd do some honest smuggling between jobs. Where's that the sorry ship of yours? The beard! Oh, you shaved off your soup catcher! Yep. Your soup, soup catcher. catcher! What the hell am I thinking? I gotta introduce you to the missus. What? <laughs> he got married. I want you to meet my Bridget. Awkward! Ooh. Mal, why you got a piece trained on my wife? It's your wife, Marky. Huh? Mm -hmm. Married her, didn't I? You ain't the only one. <laughs> hey! Why are you beating up my wife? Uh-oh, Dad's mad. What the hell is going on here? What do you mean she ain't my wife? She ain't your wife because she's married to me. Don't listen to him. About half a year back at the tribe settlement, only it wasn't Bridget then, it was Saprin. And she hits me by surprise, got on my ship, and then tried to steal it out from under me. You're a liar. Really about sacrifice your love. And I ain't never got to telling you his name. Yeah, if he's a liar, how do you know his name? You're gonna want to pull your claw out of that bag nice and slow. Your claw. Relax, I'm not going for a gun or anything. Just freshening up. Just some poison. The lipstick are a dangerous combination if I recall. <laughs> mm -hmm. Turn around. I've got the layout, entrance codes. Believe me, this practice don't, rubs itself. Don't believe her. Bye-bye now. I'm handing you a fortune on a gold platter, sweetheart. Don't you want to hear the details? No. Nope. I was hoping we could talk a little business. Would you like some tea? Okay. <laughs> What's your game? Maybe this isn't the best time. No, no, this is a fun time. Just heightened awareness. Yes. Talk plainly is all. Yeah, none of that companion stuff. I'm not sleeping with you, Mal. Uh, no. I think I would have noticed. I think my keenly trained senses. You're not my lover. Neither are you my mother, my housemistress, nor anyone who has the slightest say in how I conduct my affairs. Well enough. So? So let me conduct my affairs. Who's keeping you from conducting? I haven't had a client for three weeks. Backwater moons, slums, frontier planets without so much as a temple built. We go where the work is. There's all kinds of work, Mal. And ours is the kind that gets you shut down by the Alliance. I ought to stay off the radar. There are plenty of worlds where both of us could work. We used to visit them, remember? <laughs> Ichi, Sean, Hushi. It was different then. Are you saying I'm doing this deliberate? On account of you? Is there some reason I, I want you off the job? Is there? Oh. He doesn't want to be doing with that. This is one of the crazier things I've heard today. And when I tell you about the rest of my day, you'll appreciate it. <laughs> I'm not accusing you of anything, Mal. It's hey, just... no, let's set a course for the planet of the lonely, rich, yet appropriately hygienic man. I'll tell Watch, we can work there for a month. Not all of your work is illegal, Mal. And the best and you job... you want to keep me off the job? The best job you ever pulled was on a central planet. How about I stay out of your whoring? Well, that didn't take long. you keep out of my thieving. Yeah. I know my job very well, thank you very much. Right, you're a criminal mastermind. What was the last cargo we snuck past the Alliance to transport? That was what was the cargo? They were dolls. They were little geisha dolls with big heads that wobbled. Hey, people love Wobble them. heads! And what exactly was our net profit on the famous wobbly-headed doll caper? Our cut? So you're in the gang now? Well, since I can't seem to find work as companion, I might as well become a petty thief like you. Oh. Well, if he's gonna keep calling her a whore. 
He's a little bit more Jimmy. than a petty. What did you mean? Swashy. It's Chinese for petty. <laughs> no, that's a narrow. <laughs> there are nuances of meaning that. Maybe you should have stuck with your wiles. Ooh, she's offended by his criminal now. ego now. Mm hmm. You know you haven't been after serious work. Enough. Serious work? You want to know if I... What? Nothing. <laughs> All right? Tell me more about this job of yours. No. Oh. Maybe one of the biggest collectors of Earth that was artifacts in the verse. An antiquity of unspeakable value. The last. I'm confused. Yeah, I don't have a You're schedule that yourself, long. Yeah, I've got the security codes. Why don't I go in, grab it for myself? No, actually, I was wondering. Why the hell are you on our ship? <laughs> What's she doing? On yeah. Our ship? Thank you. Did she try to kill us? <laughs> Nobody died last time. We're in space. It's a lack of trying. Get yeah. Yeah. She hit. I don't recall uh, pulling over. Point is, this <laughs> is a wobbly head of doll paper. This here's history. Why don't she just walk in and grab it herself? Good question, Jay. Mm. Good point. <laughs> Getting through the door and putting our hands on the Lassiter, it's easy. Getting out with it, that's the tricky part. It's tagged and coded. Second it passes through the door, alarms, security, fits. Dupes. That's what you'll all be if you trust her. Yeah. Good to know. So, Lord knows, ain't none of us here criminal masterminds. So if you got something better, Anara, something not petty, I wish you'd be willing to hear it. Mandashagwa. So. I don't know what that was, so but. They seem to be offended yeah, they, by it. They so. know exactly what it is. Mm. All you gotta do to be a rich woman, Han, is get over it. Oh. Okay. Nice. I'm in. <laughs> She's a liar, and no good will come of her. Well, as a rule, I say. Girl folk ain't to be trusted. <laughs> Jane is a girl's name. Ah! Jane ain't a girl. Don't let Mel trust her. Everything Saffron is get is a lie. She'll get the drop on him. Which, as far as I'm concerned, is what he richly deserves. I ain't seen any risky. Just be careful. See when we're wealthy. <laughs> <laughs> You've been wealthy before and you had to give it all up. You had hey. to give all of it up. All you gotta do is get through the back door. These flowers. All the estates on Bellerophon use this automated garbage drone system. Burn yourself. Or drop it. Yeah. Hold the steady. Sorry. Me? Uh-oh. Have they been married before? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> you found her. <laughs> you brought back my wife. <laughs> my own sweet Yolanda. Yolanda? Is that what? <laughs> You've returned to me the only thing I truly treasure. Well, oh, sucker. Then this is a day I'll feel good to be me. Do I owe you any? No, uh, a billion dollars. Oh. Uh, trip weren't even out of our way. I promised him 800 square. No, but we never agreed. Yeah, please, <laughs> I'd be embarrassed not to make some recompense. Well, you disappeared the same day as Heinrich. Heinrich? The security programmer. And he was young, and I saw you two talking, and I thought... Oh, oh. Let me get your money. You won't disappear again. Oh. Never. We gotta move fast. <laughs> yeah, we can back and hug us in the ass. <laughs> you don't want him to know the truth. This might be where she's actually from. Unlike all the other, I'm gonna go with hundreds of men you've married. I've actually met your real husband. Congratulations. Look. Anything else you want on your tombstone? Nice work, gumshoe. Now I'm intruding. Duran, this isn't what it looks like. No. Unless it looks like we're stealing your priceless Lassiter, because that's what we're doing. Don't ask me about the Gunnel, because that's new. <laughs> well, I appreciate your honesty. Don't know this one. Not, you know, a lot, but... <laughs> you don't know what he's forced me to A little bit. Delanda, please just stop. Run now, run. Go, 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 go. Don't look at me like that. I think he cares more about the heartbreak than he does about the Lassiter. Mm-hmm. I said don't look at me like that! Oh, she really cares. <laughs> 
Ooh. Do you think your life is anything to me? Alright. Ooh, he was hiding the gun. Don't steal any folks today on account of we got a very tight schedule. Yo, Seth Bridge. We'll get on about our Drop it now! Did you think I was a princess? That I would stay locked up here in the tower? With you? I hoped. You're a running fool. Savage. Yeah. Ooh. How long have you been with him? Oh, we are not together. He's my husband. Well, who in the damn galaxy ain't? <laughs> Fair point. Right? She's got a lot of those. Oh, I'm not the Patsy being stole from. If you had half a brain, you'd have called the feds the minute you saw me. Oh, I did. Oh. Uh... Emergency signal. Tell them it was a mistake. Those wilds away. <laughs> I gotta tell you, young lady. Put those wiles away. You know how I can make you feel. Hmm. Uh, Please, you're embarrassing yourself. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, I'm signal. embarrassing who's the dupe on the floor. Hey, to bring up our imminent rest during a crazy time, we gotta <laughs> go. Oh. Oh, does she actually have feelings? Mm. They're just more wiles. Yeah. Yeah, have yourself a great guffaw. I mean it. Six years knowing he was holding such treasures, you didn't move on him? I gotta figure that's a job you told yourself you'd never take. Until times got hard enough than the one line you hadn't crossed. My name's not Yolanda. Yeah, no shit. Mm -hmm. Never entered my mind it was. <laughs> I tried. To call it's yourself that? Trying. But no I one would believe me. Decent man. The genuine article. A working man. Struggling to get by with the barest necessities on his private float island. <laughs> I thought it would help. I thought if I had everything, then I wouldn't want. Heinrich, the security program. Did you marry him too? <laughs> Probably. No. I didn't kill him either. No. Don't reckon as many you killed. Just put him in a position to die easy. I should have killed Turin. Right. The one guy who don't have it coming. <laughs> the man who knows you, still loves you, treachery and all. I can't have him walking about. Oh no, no, don't do that. Wiles! You must be loving this. A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah! <laughs> I've seen you without your clothes on before. Never thought I'd see you naked. Can't get Depends on the person. I'm guessing the pain of this fades away. You'll just go back to being what you are. Yeah, that begs a question. After somebody has shown that they can't be trusted, would you believe that they were showing hey. any vulnerability? Beautiful. Vulnerability, but no. Evil. No, I would not. Double Thank you. Snake. You won't tell anyone about me breaking down. I won't. No, he won't be able to. You just yeah. rip off your necklace and, and shove it up his nose. How easily I got your gun out of your holster. You fool! Dum 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 dum. I'll take that as a kindness. You just may be the most gullible fool I ever marked. Possibly. And that makes you special. What's your move? We'll be setting down the desert. Leave you to set a spell. Oh, and speaking of naked. No, now that's yeah. just low. Kind of evens things out, don't though, don't rip you think? It. Where is it? Ah, it's not here. Oh, oh hey. Wait for this. Uh, I wonder if it works. Hmm. Whoa. Oh well. She really tried it. Yeah. Anyway, this works fine. What are you doing here? Oh, just my part of the job. What part of the job? I put on the big act, strum away in a huff, then I fly off, wait for you to double cross them out, beat you to the rendezvous spot, and grab the boot before you can get to it. not the only one with wiles. What? You didn't see it coming? I didn't either, to be uh, honest, but okay. Some of the crew's performances weren't quite as nuanced as they could have been. I thought they might have tipped the fact that we were playing you from the second melt took you out of that crate. Get back in your box!
<laughs> You're not gonna die, you big baby. The authorities will be here in a few hours to dig you out. I have a condition. I have a condition. Fun, what? Your spine. You hit it pretty hard when you fell. Fine. Yes. How much did they offer you to sell out Mean River on Ariel? Ooh. That's crazy talk. Then let's talk crazy. Anybody there? Oh, oh, she's me. she's not gonna help you. I will never ever harm you. You're on this table, you're safe. So I'm your medic. And however little we may like or trust each other, we're on the same crew. I don't care what you've done. I don't know what you're planning on doing, but I'm trusting you. I think you should do the same. Or... Because I don't see this working any other way. Also, I can kill you with my brain. <laughs> So you're naked. start with the part where you're stranded in the middle of nowhere, or the part where you have no clothes? All according to plan. Really? I thought the plan was for me to act as a failsafe in case everything else went wrong. Like, for instance, if Sakhon disabled Serenity and left you for dead. Nonsense. You had a key role to play in this. How sad would you have been if you hadn't gotten the plan? What? Hey. Hey. <laughs> Speechless. Good work, Captain. Thank you, Kaylin. Good day. It was a good day. And who had more wiles this time? Mm. Mal or Saffron? Uh, or whatever her name is, Yolanda? Yeah, Yolanda. Uh, we don't know her real name. Joan, Bridget? Bridget. Who knows? Uh, but definitely, uh, they got her. One way or another, it doesn't yeah. matter. We've seen a lot of uh, genre storytelling, I think, so far in this series, and we got a little bit of a heist movie this time around, and I thoroughly enjoy things like that. So, you know, like like an Ocean's Eleven type yeah. thing, but with the Firefly crew. Yeah, just kind of like you think they're going in one direction, and oops, surprise, they had something else up their sleeve. Yeah. No, I do. Uh, I I enjoyed seeing Saffron come back. I liked that kind of uh, that kind of energy where everybody was just kind of uh, wary. No, yeah, we don't mm -hmm. trust her, but you know, clearly they didn't trust her from the start because, as she said, you know, from the moment that they let her out of that box, her wiles were too plenty. <laughs> Get your wiles out of here. Well, we've only got three episodes left before the movie. I'm kind of disappointed. Yeah, the next one is called The Message. Message. The message, yeah. Uh, no fun cameos in this one, but there are a couple Whedon familiar faces if you if you if you watch any other Whedon shows. Uh, we'll point them out when we get there. But for now, I'm Joel. I'm Lauren. And uh, we watch Whedon. We done watched it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of We Watch Whedon Firefly. We had a blast. Please like the video, subscribe to Fan Theory TV, and click the notification bell so you know when the next episode comes out. There are full-length episodes of this show on Patreon. And you can find me everywhere on the internet at I'm the Only Nerd, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube.